room was a chair, and tied to the chair was the body of a young girl, perhaps once, once a beautiful girl, but not now. To see her face had become horribly disfigured, and what didn't help it while I'd been lying up there in those many months, they had been nibbled at by the rats. Her eyes, her nose, her mouth, her ears, they appeared to be moving, and they were. They were swarming with maggots. Ew. As they looked down across the top yeah. part of the body, which was naked and exposed. No, you're allowed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with these terrible, terrible marks, horrible marks. And as they looked further down below the knees, how could they not help but notice that below the knees, both of the legs were missing, ladies and gentlemen. A girl of no legs. While they ran down the stairs, they were violently ill on the curb here. And then they gathered their composure and called for the police. And to their great credit, the police staff do at top speed. They probably don't know who the murderers were of this young girl. No one's ever been brought to justice for the murder. You see, for the simple reason is, once the police got all the evidence pertaining to this case, especially the ballistics evidence, mysteriously, it all went missing. <laughs> I know what you might be thinking. I'm probably thinking the same thing. But whatever you do, don't think it out loud. We're in the presence of a policeman, all right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know who this girl is. Who she was, her body was taken away and buried in an unmarked grave. And here's something else you might want to consider. Those legs <laughs> that were taken off below the knees, they've never been found. They've never been located. There's a mystery for you, eh?